Hi there, welcome back for another video. I'm Nick from A Load of Old Scrap. Uh, basically on this channel I make sculptures from scrap, salvage, recycled, sometimes new metal, but mostly scrap. Uh, at the moment you're watching uh, part three in a video series of how I make a scrap metal Harris Hawk. Now, if you haven't seen the other two parts to this video, go back and check them out now. I'll stick a, a link to that in the description underneath. But in this one, I'm going to be working on the talons. So first up, I've got to do the talons for the, the hawk there. Uh, after the talons, I'm going to do the a little bit of work to the head, the neck, and bulk out some of the wings a little bit there. Um, the sculpture will be completely finished in this video, and you'll be able to see it hanging up in the cafe in its final uh, destination. So first up, I'm going to crack on with the talons. The, the sort of the rough guide on the talons there, um, just with the rebar to make out the, the legs for the um, hawk's talons. Obviously they need bulking out of it, so what I'll do is bulk them out with some washers, um, sort of blend it into the body a bit more so it'll look a bit smoother. Wings and talons are done for now. There's some more finishing touches that I'll do to the wings once everything else is done, but for now they're sorted. Next stage for it is to fill in sort of the neck area of the bird. So what I will use are handles from spoons and forks, that sort of stuff. Uh, whenever I use like the head of a, a spoon or a fork or a knife even, I always put the handles to one side because I know that they always come in useful for other things, They're really nice shapes. So they've got these sort of curves in them anyway. It's not the shot on camera very well. So you've got kind of the curves. So they work really nicely for bulking out the neck. Um, so that'll be the next stage now that I will crack on and do that. up for this one is I want to so what I want to do is bulk out this this section here um, it's got the nice the angles on it are nice the shape of it's nice it's just too thin at the moment so I'm going to bulk out that section there uh, with a sprocket from a bicycle Thank you. 
coming on really well, getting close to the finishing point now. On to actually my favourite part, it's one of the finishing touches to it, is uh, working on the wings now. So they're just finishing off those wings, uh, adding some heat into every single knife on there, to all the feathers, um, and bending round just the tips of them to really capture the movement of the hawk. It's a proper finishing touch. I've done a few before, uh, a few owls, lots, do lots of birds. Um, and it's definitely the, the finishing touch that really brings it to life and gives it a bit of movement. Nice side product of uh, heating and bending the knives is you get that sort of blue iridescent colour coming through the stainless steel there as well. It's a really nice finish to it. finished. I've welded up a little bracket on the back there, just a little hoop so that it's going to be easier to hang it from the chain. Uh, I've rigged up a, well, a pretty sketchy way of hanging it up so I can test what it's going to be like on the chain. Imagine that while you're having your dinner in a cafe. Don't think I could actually be any more pleased with how that's turned out, it's awesome. Uh, so right, there's only two things left to do now. I need to lacquer it and then deliver it. And then deliver it, I'm gonna take it there and we'll hang it from the rafters and hopefully I'll take some footage of that so you can see it in its final place. this one um, thank you for sticking around and watching the whole thing if you've not seen the other videos in the series go back and check them out link will be in the description could not be happier with the way that that's come out hanging from the rafters there it just looks brilliant it's gonna get so much attention in the cafe it's a busy cafe anyway I don't think I've ever been there and it hasn't been nearly full to be honest so it's gonna get a lot of attention along with the other sculptures I've got in there if you want to go and check it out that is at Cartgate Lodge Cafe on the A303 um, just near Yeovil and Somerset there. So if you've liked the video, leave a like. If you want to, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with what I'm doing. With lots more videos coming. I'm doing weekly videos at the moment. Other than that, have a good day.